Tank just converted to Islam, and guess who wasn't exactly thrilled about it? None other than Floyd Mayweather, the flashy mentor and master of the ring. He didn't hold back. He's out there throwing verbal jabs like he's in the ring himself. Why is Tank messing with all this conversion stuff? We were supposed to be knocking people out, not changing religions. I don't get it. He needs to stay focused on the real fight, Mayweather declared, his words hitting like a haymaker. And just like that, the boxing community split into two camps, those rallying behind Davis in his personal journey and those, like Mayweather, scratching their heads in disbelief. Social media, our modern-day boxing ring, exploded with a verbal spar that could rival any championship bout. A boxing pundit, known for cutting through the nonsense, chimed in, Mayweather's living in the past. This is 2023. Athletes can be more than just fighters. Let Tank find his path. Maybe it'll make him an even more dangerous opponent in the ring. The tension in the boxing world reached boiling point, and finally Davis broke his silence. Exclusive interview time. This is my journey, my path. I'm grateful for the support from my Muslim brothers and sisters. If Floyd's disappointed, that's on him. I've got my own fight to focus on, Davis declared, hitting back with a counterpunch of stoic resilience. But Mayweather, never one to back down, responded in classic Mayweather fashion during an impromptu press conference. Tank can do whatever he wants, but this ain't just about him. We built something together. We were supposed to conquer the boxing world, not get tangled up in religious debates. I expected more from him. Hold up, it gets crazier. Just when you thought the drama had peaked, Davis, in a move that blindsided even the most seasoned analysts, dropped the retirement bomb. Retirement? Over religion? I don't know what game he's playing, but the ring will miss him, Mayweather grumbled. Mentor and mentee, both known for their unapologetic attitudes, taking unexpected turns. The spotlight intensifies on Davis, now going by the name Abdul Wahid, as he faces not only the challenges inside the ring, but also the scrutiny of a world grappling with the intersection of personal faith and the unforgiving glare of the public eye. Rumors are swirling about a potential showdown between Davis and another Muslim boxer, Devin Haney. Yeah, you heard it right again. Two fighters sharing a faith going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the ring. The boxing community can't get enough of this. The ring is our mosque, our church. It's where we prove ourselves. Tank's conversion doesn't change that. If anything, it adds another layer to the story, Haney remarked, throwing his own verbal punches into the mix. While the boxing world watches, debates, and weighs in on the unfolding drama, the saga continues, and the conversation remains alive. The retirement of Gervonta Tank Davis, a decision fueled by a collision of faith and fame, adds an unexpected chapter to the evolving narrative of sports, faith, and identity. But hold on. There's a twist. Gervonta Tank Davis, the dude who had the ring shaking with his killer moves, just dropped a spiritual bomb on us. He's gone and embraced Islam, reciting the Shahada during the Dur prayer at a local mosque. Ali and Tyson vibes anyone. Now here's where it gets wild. His mentor, Floyd Mayweather, the guy who practically oozes flamboyance in and out of the ring, ain't happy. Why is Tank messing with all this conversion stuff? We were supposed to be knocking people out, not changing religions. I don't get it. He needs to stay focused on the real fight, Mayweather declared, throwing shade harder than a championship round. And just like that, the boxing community is split, Team Davis and Team Mayweather. Social media, our digital boxing ring, is buzzing with a fierce exchange of verbal blows. One pundit, known for no-nonsense commentary, jumped in. Athletes can be more than just fighters. Let Tank figure his stuff out. Maybe it'll make him even more badass in the ring. Finally, Davis breaks his silence in an exclusive interview. This is my journey, my path. And then I'm grateful for the support from my Muslim brothers and sisters. If Floyd's disappointed, that's on him. I've got my own fight to focus on. Davis hits back with a counterpunch that leaves us all wondering what's next. But Mayweather, the man who can turn any press conference into a spectacle, isn't backing down. Tank is free to pursue his own path, but our collaboration was meant for conquering the boxing world, not diving into religious discussions. I had higher expectations. And then, just when you thought the drama had peaked, Davis drops the retirement bomb. Retirement? Over religion? The ring will miss him, 
Mayweather grumbles in response. The mentor-mentee clash takes an unexpected turn. The spotlight now intensifies on Davis, now known as Abdul Wahid, facing not only the challenges inside the ring, but also the scrutiny of a world grappling with the intersection of personal faith and the unforgiving glare of the public eye. Now here's a twist that no one saw coming. Rumors are swirling about a potential showdown between Davis and another Muslim boxer, Devin Haney. Two fighters sharing a faith, going head-to-head -head in the ring, you can't make this stuff up. The ring is like our spot, our thing. Tank going all spiritual just adds a new twist, doesn't change who we are. Haney throws in his perspective, turning this drama into a full-fledged saga. As the boxing community watches, debates, and weighs in on the unfolding drama, the saga continues, and the conversation remains alive. The retirement of Gervonta Tank Davis, a decision fueled by a collision of faith and fame, adds an unexpected chapter to the evolving narrative of sports, faith, and identity. And just when you thought it couldn't get crazier, Gervonta Tank Davis, the guy with the killer punches and flashy footwork, drops a bomb. He's retiring. Retirement? After we just got used to him going all spiritual on us, you won't believe what he had to say. In an exclusive interview, Davis spills the beans. I've decided to retire from professional boxing. This wasn't an easy decision, and it comes after careful consideration of my career, my personal journey, and my faith, he reveals, hitting us with the unexpected. The news sends shockwaves across social media. Fans go from cheering for his killer hooks to scratching their heads in disbelief. Why would a rising star like Davis hang up the gloves? Analysts and commentators dive into the potential factors, from the toll of the sport on a fighter's body to the evolving priorities of athletes beyond the ring. The boxing community, still reeling from Mayweather's disapproval and Davis's conversion, now faces the news of one of its rising stars stepping away from the spotlight. The retirement of a fighter in his prime raises discussions about the challenges and sacrifices athletes face in pursuit of success and recognition. While some fans lament the premature end of what promised to be a stellar career, others respect Davis's choice to follow a different path. The retirement also sparks conversations about the impact of an athlete's faith on their career choices and whether it played a significant role in Davis's decision. As the days unfold, Davis takes to social media to elaborate on his retirement decision. I appreciate the love and support from my fans throughout my career. This is not a goodbye, but a new chapter in my life. I want to focus on my faith, family, and personal growth, he shares, adding a layer of insight into the motivations behind his departure from the boxing world. The retirement of Gervonta Tank Davis, a symbol of change and controversy in recent times, leaves a void in the boxing landscape. Fans in the broader sports community continue to reflect on the intersection of personal beliefs, career choices, and the evolving narratives within the realm of professional boxing. The echoes of Davis's retirement linger, prompting discussions about the unpredictable nature of sports careers and the importance of athletes prioritizing their well-being and personal fulfillment. As the boxing world adjusts to the absence of one of its rising stars, the conversation evolves, emphasizing the need for understanding and respect for the diverse paths athletes choose beyond the ring. The ongoing saga of Abdul Wahid unfolded on a global stage, prompting discussions about the role of athletes as influencers and ambassadors of change. The narrative challenged preconceived notions about the limitations of athletes, ID inspiring a generation to explore the multifaceted dimensions of identity beyond the arena. As the dust settled on the initial shockwaves, the enduring legacy of Tank's journey became apparent. The script, initially centered around a boxing ring, had evolved into a narrative encompassing resilience, self-discovery, and the enduring quest for purpose. In conclusion, the extended narrative of Gervonta Tank Davis, now Abdul Wahid, serves as a testament to the transformative power of personal conviction. The intersection of faith and fame, once a source of contention, became a catalyst for broader conversations about authenticity, resilience, and the evolving role of athletes in shaping societal narratives. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, peace out.